And welcome back to another Knock Off Toy Review. So here we have some Harry Potter Magic Series uh, bootleg figures. I thought we were uh, reviewing all of these. So just move them out of the way now. So first up we have this packet called Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. These are Chinese bootlegs. They are based off uh, these Enesco uh, hanging ornaments they were. You can see there's Hagrid. Which were um, uh, made back in the early 2000s. So um, we'll open up this one first. Let's just see, what we've, we've got like a bookmark in the middle. Uh, nothing on the back. We do have this little picture up, up here, which I believe is one of the dioramas they, they made. An Esco, that was. Okay. So that was the picture on the on the back. Um, Shokin has it. Collectible casting stone included. No idea what that means. Okay, so first up we have that Hagrid figure. Uh, I'm not sure what you're supposed to be holding there. It doesn't seem to be the same as what the original figure is holding. Obviously, no maker's marks. It's a uh, hollow plastic. Quite light. So these were uh, obviously what these are bootlegged off were made before the movies. So there are any artist impressions? Here it is it's supposed to be a mining. Uh, Harry. Catching the snitch in his uh, Quidditch robes. This is a. Um, this is diff made out of different plastic, I think. That seems more solid. Seems like solid plastic, that's strange. Um, these were hanging ornaments, so he would have been hung up. But obviously, <laughs> that's not a hanging ornament. And then we have Ron, with the scabbers there. And it looks like a little dog. Bad paint jobs. And the uh, mould is not very good. Now this, yeah, this is a bookmark. It says Harry Potter bookmarker. A picture of Hag Rubius Hagrid. Okay, we'll open up the other... Um, the Sulfur Stone figures. Almost the same. Um, Harry Potter and Hagrid, Hagrid head wig. That's not really a lightning bolt scar. It's just <laughs> it's pretty rough. We do at least stand up. We'll sell it in. I bet it's going to rip. Nope, let's get it off. That's Harry Potter. So I don't know if these are taking off the original models or their own bootleg versions. Um, we have. <laughs> don't. We have another Harry Potter on the broom. We have uh, Dumbledore this time. I actually have something very similar to this, but it was a torch. And it was an original first release of, uh, of Harry Potter merchandise. Sure, that's the same figure. And that's another run. And let's try and move these up a bit. I 
don't stand up great. Okay, so now we'll move on to Harry Potter Magic Series. In this packaging you got a lot more of the um, Inesco uh, models, dioramas. Harry Potter killing the, uh, not killing the, knocking out the uh, troll. Let's uh, try and open this up. Let's see. Uh, no, it all ripped. Some of the original artwork. We have a spare one. I'm not going to open this one because it's the same. I'll be keeping this one. Um, mini figurine with story scope. What a story scope is, no idea. Because you've literally just got these two figures. And we have a Dumbledore. Which is exactly the same figure as this, although I think there's a slightly different size difference. No, they're identical. Just slightly different paint. And we have another run. And these actually feel dusty, even though they've been inside a <laughs> package, unless the packaging was a bit damaged. Next up, we have another Magic Series. Um, this is a two, bit larger two-plate figure set. Again, mini figurine with story scope. I don't know. That's obviously some sort of bad translation. We've got Harry Potter catching the snitch. The troll again. Uh, again, nothing on the map. So let's open up this one. So these are larger scale figures with some uh, limited um, articulation. Now these are very hard hollow plastic. These actually feel a little bit better quality even though they're not great. No leg articulation, slight arm articulation on the mining. Slightly better uh, moulding, so they are, they are bigger. And then we have uh, Harry Potter. <laughs> um, this one is actually standing up. So we'll look at it compared to. It doesn't seem to be able to. Yeah, you got the snitch there. And these, uh, again, very cheap plastic. And these did actually come with uh, accessories. So here we got Harry Potter's uh, broomstick. Well, that's uh, that's very cheap. Practically rubber. That's bad. I bet it doesn't even really fit in the hand. Oh, just about. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, okay, um see what else we have. We have uh, Hagrid's um, pink umbrella. I don't know if it's supposed to be a candle or a wand. Let's uh, give it to mine anyway. If you'll hold it, there we go. Is he going to be able to stand there? Probably not. There we go. Um, a little bit of plastic with uh, some bubbles in it. Don't know what that's supposed to be. Maybe, I don't know, Philosopher's Stone. Don't know. Didn't look like that. A potion bottle. See if this, uh, see if money can hold that. Yep, just about. Not surprising me. Uh, another sort of potion, I guess. I'm a jug of something. And lastly, a little magic book. 
doesn't open. I can't hold it, so I'll just have to go on the floor. Um, the last one is uh, Ron and uh, Dumbledore. Definitely don't like to stand up and knock off uh, figures. Right, there we go. Okay. And here we have Ron again. Cheapo plastic. It's weird they have like uh, lines. Oh, I feel like he's going to break them. Again, limited articulation. Uh, he's holding something, but I don't know what it is. So there's Ron. Let's uh, bring the camera down a bit now. Hang on. Oh, that's a bit better. We can uh, see a little bit better now. There's uh, Ron. Right. Dumbledore. Not a bad figure, actually. Again, cheap hollow plastic. Uh, we do have some more accessories. We have a sorting hat. This one is like a rubber. Doesn't really fit on. Um, okay, we have. I don't know whether this is supposed to be Scabbers or a little dog because uh, it has, an, uh, it has a band around its neck. It looks a lot like that. Like I say, it's got a collar on, so who knows? That's weird. We have a wand made from again from a bit of a rubbish plastic. Let's see if this will fit in Dumbledore's hand. Just about. It was a bit uh, a bit difficult to cram it in. I'm just noticing he's coming apart at the sides. Don't try and do it too much. I'm going to snap it. We have another piece of uh, plastic with balls in it. We have uh, another one. These have bits of glitter on it, so I'm going to be covering glitter for now. Rest of the day, uh, and of course he can't hold it because he has no, you know, something in his hand. Oh, that's not staying on. <laughs> no. We have a little jug or something. Another bendy broomstick. I guess maybe Ron could hold that. Not, not really. Then we have some toilet paper. I think it's supposed to be a scroll. Some sort. A, I think that's a bag of something. Just with a little uh, pouch. And lastly, another little magic book. This time with a sticker on it. There we go. These bootleg Harry Potter figures. Based on the uh, Nesco uh, figurines. These are actually vintage bootlegs as well. And they're not going to stand. <laughs> right, so there we go. They're pretty cool, and these will go in my uh, bootleg toy collection. And until next time, ta for now. <laughs>